So it's the beginning of September and we're doing a lab at home. And so you'll need some materials. And so that's what this video is. I'm saying home an announcement and some videos. Uh, we started the lab with balloons. So we'd like to have three balloons of different sizes. Um, because we're doing it at home, uh, you need alternatives. So here's a trash liner and you can do a large trash liner, do a small trash liner. Um, you do different size Ziploc bags. Uh, what you may need is a straw, and then you un you you get as big as you can. Break it a little bit, just a little bit. Make sure it's sealed everywhere else. And then inflate it. Um, if you have exercise balls, those would work well or even sports balls of different sizes would work well. Okay, besides that you'll need um, a piece of string or maybe even tape, um, yarn, uh, something to measure the circumference of your um, container. So the way we'll do it is we'll wrap the yarn around it. I'm gonna take a pen marker. I'm gonna mark both both spots um, where I went around. And then you need a ruler. So if somebody's a sewer in your family, they'll have a flexible ruler um, to wrap around. And so I'm gonna mark where I started. And I'm gonna mark where I ended, right there. And I'm gonna measure that. And I ended up with about 44 centimeters. If you only have an inches ruler, no problem. Uh, find out how many inches, 14 inches, then um, multiply it by 2.54. So even a, an inches ruler will be fine. Um, I was actually thinking that if you have nothing, you probably have tape. Um, and so you can take tape, stick it onto your surface, and then wrap it around, tear it. Tear it where it's together and then measure that length of tape. So various ways to measure it. Um, and that's it. We're going to ask you to, to cal do the calculation so that when you say 0.2 moles, you have an idea of how much 0.2 moles is. All right. Um, if you want to make it more exciting and if you have time, uh, one thing you could do is um, you could inflate your Ziploc bags to different sizes. So you really don't want to do more than this. I'm looking around for my, because um, <laughs> I've done this before. Um, I'm looking around for the chemical that we use. So you could just put in vinegar and baking soda inside. A um, little bit of vinegar, some baking soda, and then, you know, it won't get real full, but you can measure how much you have. Um, these work as well. These are um, Alka-Seltzer, but any effervescent tablet, even the cheap ones, you put one in, see how much you get. Put two in, see how much you get. Um, that lab, really, I haven't really tried. So if you're doing that, um, I think it's more fun, but you could try it. So you can use these effervescent tablets of, if, you can, if you have them lying around the house or if you want to run out tonight and grab them or tomorrow. Um, so black bags, put them in there and then see how, how much air you get inside because each one will be different and you go, oh, well, with one or two or three. So that might be fun. Um, or vinegar and baking soda. So those are the things you'll need. You'll need some kind of ball balloon to hold air of three different sizes, uh, a string, tape, or a tape measure to measure the circumference, a ruler if all you have is string or tape. Um, to measure it, so then you can measure it. And then we're going to give you all the calculations, and you're just going to plug, um, plug in values and do the calculations. Okay, hopefully uh, this gets out to you in time. It is late. Sorry.